Hey guys, before we get the video started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Babbel. And we'll talk a little bit more about Babbel later on in the video. So we're talking about politics today? <laughs> That's right, everybody. I hate to get political, but we got another bald guy video for you. Father-son bald time. Is Experts. <laughs> Experts on the subject, actually. One, uh, it happened naturally. Two, things aren't going so good. Cancer. Thank you. <laughs> I was making sure that you still knew. Because I might have forgot. Because sometimes old. dads forget stuff. They do. Was it Emily who had cancer or was it Jacob <laughs> who had cancer? Hey, how are you? And welcome back to another YouTube, YouTube video. video. My name is Jacob Andrew Sharp. And I'm Jacob's dad. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, we've got a doozy of a video today. And when it's a doozy, what does that mean, Dad? It means lots of nuggets for you. And how do we get? How do they? How do they get their nuggets? Oh, they have to call the number at the bottom <laughs> of the screen. And what's the number? Can you read it out? Uh, I think it's one eight hundred Giles Dad Jacob Nuggets. That's the exactly right. So if you call one eight hundred Jacob's Dad Jacob Nugget, oh, I don't know what the oh, nice. number below. So make sure you subscribe to my channel for a lifetime supply of nuggets. Today's nuggets. Ooh, -wee. it's gonna be a. Doozy. Oh, it's a doozy. Oh, these these nuggets are pretty uh, spicy, nom, 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 pretty political, political, controversial. controversial. Sorry, uh, lib cucks. Time to put your little snowflakes away because these guys are going to get pretty political because today's nuggets are bald flavored. These nuggets ain't got no hair on them. I got nothing. Yep. <laughs> That's kind of what bald guys do in their spare time, yeah. is, especially if they're father and son. They just kind of. That's right. Today, I wanted to bring uh, my dad back onto the channel because he's so funny and, uh, and goofy and uh, and uh, just, a, just a delight to have around. And also, if there's one person who knows bald people as good as I do, it'd be Insane. Giles Andrew Philip Sharp. Yeah. And uh, today, we are gonna be ranking the like top, uh, top 65 bald people in my opinion. We're gonna be ranking them in a tier list. And today, uh, the tier list is called the Best Baldies Extravaganza Tier List. I have the tier list in the politics category. Which is a, appropriate. It's super political. Yeah, absolutely. I, well, I know for sure as soon as the comments are gonna be like, you do know you missed, uh, <laughs> you didn't, you didn't rank my uncle and he's probably the baldest guy I know. For the description I have, my dad and I are bald and we don't know how else to express our bald pride. Let's go through the tiers. So first tier, this is like, our S tier, like our God tier, like this is like the best bald people that exist. So that category is shine bright like a bald head. Right, but and shine bright like the diamond Did is the one when, when I got engaged to Sandy. Was it shine bright like a shine diamond? Like and it was a yellow diamond that I gave her behind, oh. behind the Supreme Court of Canada in Ottawa. We horse and carriage just across the street. Sammy goes, oh, this is so romantic. Someone's booked one of these. See the horses and talk to the people. And so we do. And then I said, well, just, we just, just get in. And so she goes, what? She goes, did you book this? And I said, yeah. Um, and then, so we got in. And then later we got engaged. But I played that song. At that time, it was on an, I, an iPod. Oh, he played it on an <laughs> iPod speaker? <laughs> Well, you hear that, Rihanna? My dad is the king of romance, and you're the co cornerstone of his marriage with my stepmom. So for the B tier, or the A tier, so that's like kind of like, these, these bald people are great, they're not the best, but they're, they're, they're a solid bald person. That is, uh, we found skulls in a hairless place. Uh, that's another Rihanna, Rihanna play on a Rihanna song. And then for our, our B tier, this is like, you know, middle of the pack. Like they're bald, they're fine. They don't do anything exceptional, but they don't do anything like really bad. Kind of like uh, you and I. Yeah, <laughs> run of the mill. Run of the mill. That is the uh, keep your wigs. Keep your wigs. We're fine being bald. That, that bald person is fine in the bald community. Now for our C tier. So this is when we're starting to get into the guys, the the, the bald people that eh, they don't really do it for us. They're the bald people that don't give the baldies the best the best name. You know the 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 red faced angry uncles that are just like they're just misrepresenting bald people. They're right. getting mad. Okay. They've got all these bad takes. Right. They're just right. like like the type of like middle aged men that just like regurgitate the news, but mm -hmm. without have actually like read anything. Right. They're just like Russia. 
And then you're like, that's great, but you got to stop yelling at that subway employee, you know? So the C tier is called Joe Rogaine. It auto-corrected to Romaine. Like Joe Rogan, but right. Joe Rogan. Because right. in my mind, Joe Rogan, also a bald guy. Get some Rogaine on that guy. <laughs> Change your little attitude, Joe, or grow some hair, because I don't like you being a bald guy. What do you think about Joe Rogan? I don't listen, I don't listen to his podcast. I know he's really popular with males my age, but. I <laughs> see, that's great that that's your level of bald. <laughs> is that I don't listen to it. I don't listen. But I've been told secondhand information. Second, the secondhand <laughs> smoke of the Joe Rogan cigarette that people are smoking around. Yes. And for our D tier, oh, just Scum of the earth. Andrew. 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 <laughs> He's made me embarrassed of my middle name. And my of middle our name, too. My middle name as well. Because Andrew. Granny also confirmed that we are named after. after Prince Andrew and Prince Philip, the two princes of England. But as I far don't. as Andrews go, we are down bad. We're trying to... Bring it up. We're trying, trying to, to bring it up. Trying yeah. to bring the stocks up in That's Andrew. Right. Um, I hope he replies to this, but probably won't be able to from prison. <laughs> Another one. I mean, Anyways. I just, if he does reply to it, I hope he doesn't have a pizza box. Oh my in goodness, it. not another <laughs> Not charge. another pizza box. Oh, disaster. The thing about, yeah, I think Andrew's kind of like a cringe millennial. Random, epic pizza moment, Bruh. and uh, then he got arrested. <laughs> he He's not even on the bald list, but he is his own tier, and it's the worst tier. It's people that just make you go, ugh. That is Andrew's taint, 100%. He's a bad guy. I actually, just a side point. I started to start receding right at the front here. And my hair was important to me. I used to really, I'd get my hair cut a lot. <laughs> There's a photo right there of you with hair. I should bring it down. It's true. Um, short on the sides, a box, a box top. But it was starting to thin. And I made a promise to myself, gentlemen that I knew, and I'd be like, oh man, they need to shave that. And so then I did. And hey, uh, you got like, like young, at like in like 31 or something. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Look he, at us. He had being, great hair. Uh, they, you do too. Yeah, but you, you as well. Like but fantastic we, hair. And look at us being two bald guys being like, no, no, it used to be really good. But that's the thing. Be proud of being bald. Don't <laughs> I'm hide proud it. Of it. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. You know, I'm not gonna be like a Carlos Boozer and uh, Mark. He put. Okay, so let's start. I want to start with an easy one. Probably like let's start with Homer Simpson. Okay. If those of you who don't know who Homer Simpson is, click off the video and don't come back. What do you know if you don't know who Homer Simpson is? I mean, off the bat, I don't love that he chokes his son. No. I'd say like, I like, I like though, like, he's like an every man's man. I think he's in the Joe Rogaine category. Joe Rogaine? You don't think? I think maybe we found skulls in a hairless place. Do, what do you think about well. Homer? Yeah. I'm trying to think of like the, it's still good, it's still good. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that Homer. Right. It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. The seven dwarves from so Snow White. Okay. They don't really like sh shot, like strike me as bald, but you can see under their little toques. They, they, they ain't got nothing up there. Yeah, yeah. They but, are hard uh, workers. They are hard workers. Keep your wigs. Keep your wigs. Yeah, that's fair. Let's do a hairless cat. <laughs> oh, a hundred percent. That's your top. That's a top tier. Top tier. That's top tier. <laughs> No questions. Under, no questions asked. So hairless cats out there, you guys are top tier as far as Giles is concerned. Yeah. We're gonna do uh, Walter White. Yes. Because Brian Cranston is technically not bald. Right. But the character Walter White, that is a bald man. Yes. And a bald man with cancer, which I really respect. To do it, to go bald on that path, yeah. it's very difficult. Believe but that's why I chose it. So he's, he's definitely top tier as well. I'd say so. 100%. Not only one of the best characters in television, but he's probably one of the coolest and best bald people. And science teachers. And science, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you forget. You yeah. do forget he's a science teacher. And you go to him if you need a car wash. Uh, but don't sell drugs. Don't, yeah. We're not <laughs> advocating that part. <laughs> Unless you're trying to get money for your family. <laughs> right. And you know a guy who you used to teach. Right. Who makes math. Make it. Yeah. Then you <laughs> might want to go into that. It's going to get a little complicated. It'll get really complicated. And your family's going to find out. And they're going to hate you a little bit. Yeah. But... You know, uh, comedy ensues. <laughs> Bruce Willis. We've, uh, you've shown me a, a, a slew of Bruce Willis mm -hmm. films long before I probably should have seen yeah, a lot of them. Maybe too young, but. <laughs> yeah, cause he's in, uh, I remember watching Pulp Fiction. I remember seeing that, yes. like probably like around like the age of like eight maybe. But the message was. <laughs> right? The message was. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Yeah. You saw what happened, right? And, they, and then they go back to Lance's house and then they- She did a lot, she OD'd. That's yep. right, you don't want to, yeah. So 
and that this is this is a bad thing to do. Don't get involved in that. Yeah. Got that big needle out. Yeah. To try and revive her. That was, uh, that was the graphic imagery that I wanted to instill in my children. Yeah. And that and it worked. It was it's pretty <laughs> shocking. Because nothing will scare you more. Yeah. Like when someone ODs in a movie and yes. you're eight. But Bruce Willis Good. as a bald guy. Yeah. Great bald guy. I put think. him put him up at the top. He's in the top. He's a, he's in, an unbelievable in actor. Books, in my books. I love Bruce Willis. He's okay. uh he's phenomenal. Okay, yeah, 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 this is good. Uh, Shaq. We're gonna switch to athletes sure, a little sure, bit. Sure. Shaquille O'Neal, yeah, yeah. the Shaqtus, the yeah. big Aristotle. Yeah. One of the best uh, NBA centers of all time. Shaq will advertise for literally any company. He wrecked a whole bunch of basketball courts. Put on the floor and stops anybody down. He brought the whole goal down. What do you think? Do you think uh, you could take Shaq one on one in basketball? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you think that Shaquille O'Neal is a better basketball player than you? <laughs> <laughs> but I'd say, I think Shaq is a we found skulls in a hairless place. Mm -hmm. Actually, Shaq, I don't know. Because I think he's better than Homer, though. He is. So I'm going to put him up in, uh, in shine bright like a bald head. Yes. Okay, moving on. Blue Man Group. Probably one of the most famous. Th these are iconic. your household yeah, bald iconic, guys. Iconic. I've seen them. And was it amazing? It was. I would say probably shine bright like a bald head. Yeah. These are like the, your original bald guys. Mainstream. Bald was underground for a long oh, time until these guys time. came along. Beaker from the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Bunsen. Bunsen is. Oh, that's Bunsen, yeah. Beaker, Beaker is, is the, the, me, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I think because of Beaker, he's higher up. Bunsen is the bald one, but Beaker is the funny one. That's right. That's how you know him. We're gonna go back to Breaking Bad. We're gonna go Mike. Oh, Mike's excellent. Mike is, Mike is Mike fantastic. Is, he's a perfect character. He is. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, and I hate to sound like everyone ever, but you gotta watch it. Mike is top He's because totally. he, he only cares about his granddaughter. Yeah. Will kill anyone for any reason. He's a no BS kind of guy. Uh, let's do Voldemort. Ooh, Voldemort. Wow, that's the name that must not be spoken. Yeah, he, he who must not it. be named. Yeah, he must, yeah, yes. that's it. You took yeah. me to go see the first one in theaters. I did, I did, and it, it, it's a little side note about that. <laughs> <laughs> a little side note about that, I used the Philosopher's Stone yes. to propose to my so. wife. <laughs> <laughs> in Canada and Europe, it was called the Philosopher's Stone, but in the USA, it was called the Source. No, the Sorcerer's, Sorcerer's Stone. Sorcerer's Stone. Yep. Yeah, Sorcerer's Stone. So I was found that really weird. Why would they change the name for the America, like for the USA? But because there was enough people down there being like, Philosopher. We're not. We're not. Well, what, well, what, what kind of movie? If you're gonna come like, into I'm my not, country, I'm you better sp start kids. speaking goddamn English. I'm not taking my kids yeah. to see some <laughs> philosophy. What? So you get the microchip? No way. You know how uh, people are. Where do we think Voldemort lied? Because he's he's bad. He's bad. He's bad. Yeah, he's, he's bad. He's, he's bad. Go to Andrew's, he, Andrew's taint? taint? Yeah. Andrew's taint? Yeah, Voldemort, yeah, we can put in Andrew's taint. He's a bad guy. He killed lots of people. He's okay. always trying to kill children. He's always trying to kill one specific child one. he really had an infatuation with. Kind of a little suspicious. Uh, let's go Red Foreman from uh, That 70s Show. Red Foreman. Keep your wig. Keep your wig. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. He made, us, he made us laugh. He played the 70s dad, dad really well. Really well. Really well. Really. Son, the reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> uh, Common. Very popular rapper, very popular bald person. He's an actor. An actor. And he's supported- Hell on Wheels, he was in that. There you go. Anything else? Cause uh -huh. you're kind of like an IMBD of like, yes. oh, oh, what was Common in? He was in, he was in another <laughs> series and I can't remember the name of it, but he was, he was, he was excellent in both. We love Common. Not so common if you ask Not me. Not common at all. It's uncommon. Let, we'll round out the Breaking Bad. We have Hank. The, the brother-in-law right. of Walter White, the DEA F agent. Yeah, DEA. I know for a fact that you've gotten Hank a lot in your life. And it's interestingly enough, went on to play an amazingly incredible role in the show Claws. I haven't seen Claws. Oh, you gotta see it. You gotta see it. It's nail, it's nail salon, and I've, they're running okay. drugs out of it, and, and uh, he's called Uncle Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That was, actually my, that was actually my nickname in <laughs> high school, was <laughs> Uncle Daddy. Fantastic. What do you think? I think we could put him in Keep Your Wigs. Definitely. Very, and if you can hear stomping above us, it's because my sisters are awake. Yes. They just woke up from their nap. And we're occupying their playroom kind of right now. We but are. Downstairs It's kind of like, yeah, I always say, because of how many toys <laughs> my sisters have, like they live in a Toys R Us. And right now, I'm sitting in kind of like the chill zone of the Toys R Us. Yes. Pinnacle of bald people, Stanley Tucci. Phenomenal actor. Uh, my, my personal favorite is as the commentator in uh, Hunger. 
Hunger Games. Uh, He's the, the commentator Games, yes. in the Hunger Games. Yes. He was also, he has an entire song about him. In SNL, Pete Davidson made a oh, parody of Gucci Gang, but it was Tucci Gang. Stanley Tucci's amazing. I'd say we found skulls. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a controversial one. Ooh. Caillou. Uh, <laughs> I... As a parent, <laughs> he whines a lot. For those of you who don't uh... know who Caillou is, because it might be Canadian niche, Caillou is a show that's based in uh, in Quebec, Canada. He's a French Canadian, and yeah. he's not only bald, but he's a loudmouth, he's a whiner, and he's and not- he's always blaming Rosie for everything. He and... never takes responsibility. And Rosie is his little, uh, his little sister who might be one, oh, and yeah. he's like five. Yeah. It was. I think it was the first time I was ever like, I felt like a hatred for someone because I was like, I would never play with that kid. If it's on, I change the channel. Don't do that, Rosie. He's he's a bad representation of the Quebec Wa as well. I know that they want to separate from Canada, but we should separate Caillou from Canada. That's what I think. Ooh. I think we should put him in Joe Rogaine. Yes. Because at the end of the definitely. day, he's still a kid. He's still a kid, absolutely. Still There's a kid. chance for him to change. Yes. We'll see you in 50 years. This is a pretty easy one. Jack from Jack in the Box. Oh, yes. A lot of fun he's, commercials. He's very, uh, he's very uh, likable. He's got very good cheeseburgers, yeah. very good fries. I would say we found skulls. Okay. Okay. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Pit 30, Mr. 305. Pit, Pitbull. Pitbull. <laughs> you love Pitbull. From, from Miami. But you love Pitbull. I do. I do. <laughs> do you? I do. Yeah. He's a great artist. Mr. International. I, I like his songs because it's usually like one word and then it's yeah, like yeah, bam, yeah, bam, yeah, bam, yeah, bam, yeah. Bam, I would say we found Skull. Sure. He's uh but I know that people love to hate on him. But what do you think? Do you like him better than Imagine Dragon? Or Imagine Dragons? <laughs> they're two different genres. But okay. They're equal on on the same. Because you okay. I wish they I could have put them in here, but they are not bald. Thunder. Darling. The beautiful hi, Miley. Miley, do you want to come say Ma. hi? I missed you. Look at that big microphone. Did you just wake up from a big nap? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I did. I bet. Comes Harper. You want to go see Daddy? Hi, Harper. Are you having a cheesy? Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, know, that's yours. That's microphone. That is a big microphone. That is a big microphone. For sure. Hang your hand. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you nice job. Thank you. Do you want me to give you a yeah. gift? Yeah. I like Peppa Pig. Can I give you a wipe? I know. Peppa Pig's right there. <laughs> a big microphone. You like Peppa Pig the best? Yes. <laughs> Let's do the other the one. Robot. Yeah, yeah, you're the <laughs> Robot. <laughs> That's a good robot. That's so funny. I'm sure you can use some of that. Oh, I'm gonna use all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Could make a video about what Harper, Harper says. Yes, <laughs> she'll give you categories. She'll, oh my God! Her nope, not a puppy. Not that's <laughs> di that's dinosaur. Yeah. That's not puppy. Yes. John Malkovich. Yes, I remember seeing uh, being John Malkovich yes. also at a very early <laughs> age, and I was like, Oh, I think I know what existentialism is now. So I've, I was introduced to a lot at an early age. You were. You were like, Well, after Logan's Run, we'll watch <laughs> yes. Being John Malkovich. Yes. These are all groundbreaking movies yeah. that open your mind. I don't know. What do you think of John Malkovich? I think, I think he's a top tier guy. Top tier? Yeah. Shine bright, John Malkovich. Yes. Okay, one of my favorite bald people. I dressed up as him for a podcast years ago. The Lorax. Oh yes, the, the Lorax. Lo In my eyes, top tier. Absolutely, it's a Dr. He Zeus creation and, and, and Dr. Zeus was ahead of his time. One, great facial hair, which is kind of what you do when you become bald, yes, is you rely you on your see, facial hair. You it's great for overcompensating yes, for the bald head. Yes. And he's, yeah, he's pro-environment, yeah. but I would say Lorax is top tier. Definitely. All right, so Danny DeVito, icon, I would say. Yeah. You know, he's played everything from like the Lorax, he's the Penguin and the Batman. He was on Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Just He's also the dad in Matilda. The I movie, was gonna say. The movie Twins. That is the epitome of the 90s, is the movie yes. Twins. Yeah. So I'd say he's top tier. And Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten Cop's amazing. Yeah. Kindergarten Cop's a good movie. <laughs> and if you disagree, we'll kill you. <laughs> One of the greatest bald people of all time, probably one of the most famous, Patrick Stewart. Oh, absolutely. Captain yeah. Captain Picard. He's a you, Picard. Professor Xavier. For two nerds like us, he's, he's top tier. He's top tier. He's top tier. Once at one point, he was the sexiest man alive. Ooh, yeah. He I'd say he still like is. He, and doing it as a bald person. Yeah, as a bald so that's, man. That's, as a bald man. That's that's, that's what you gotta do. Right here, just a picture of like a basic bald guy, kind of like an uncle. Just like a guy in a truck who takes a photo from like down here for right, his Facebook right, profile. Right. <laughs>
the Oakley sunglasses, the beard. Yes. What do you think? Cry. I'm going to say he's Joe Rogaine. Yeah, definitely. And uh, another yeah, baby from Family that. Guy, who's also a very popular bald person, Stewie Griffin. Oh, Stewie's, oh, Stewie's very, very witty. witty. <laughs> 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 you were very practical yeah. about that. He's very witty. Don't love that he wants to kill his mother. No. He can talk to a dog though. I think that's pretty impressive. That is impressive. Harper can talk to the dogs too. That's I'm, so funny. I think he could be skulls. Okay, we're gonna pump through some of these. Uh, Popeye. It's now that Popeye is bald. He's got those big forearms, which I know you love. Yes. Promotes eating spinach. Hey, he eats healthy. He's not like liver king. He's natural. I think he's top tier. Top tier, Popeye. Yeah. Charles Barkley. Charles Barkley is definitely top tier. Top there's, no, there's no, you don't even have to. <laughs> You don't even have to discuss no. it. And he's but, hilarious. He's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> Whoa, look at what he's saying. The round bound of the rebound. Yes. Probably one of the best nicknames in NBA yeah, history. Sure. We love Charles Barkley. Yeah. Dr. Phil. <laughs> He's bald. <laughs> I feel like Dr. Phil he's, does, he tries to do a lot of good. He does, but he's kind of a bully about it. You know him. you're a bad person for having a baby as a teenager. Yeah, he comes on hard and then he's your best friend at the end. He's a Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's Joe Rogan. Not a big Dr. Phil fan. Uh, Ray Allen, probably one of the most famous bald NBA players. He also was uh, Jesus Shuttlesworth, the Spike Lee movie, and I can't yeah. believe I'm forgetting it. He got game with uh, with Denzel Washington and Ray Allen, who plays Jesus Shuttlesworth. Basketball is, is, is like poor. Poetry in motion. Which ended up being his real nickname in the NBA. He's my favorite basketball player of all time. So I'd say uh, we could put Ray Allen and We Found Skulls. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Jason Statham. Yes. The yes. epitome of your, your alpha guy. Yeah. He's gonna take on the Megalodon. Yeah. And uh, what's his other one? The he, Transporter. The transporter. He's, gonna, he's a good driver. He's, he's a good driver. driver. He's an excellent he's good driver. With I'm a good driver. I'm good with shocks. <laughs> that, that's a man's man. He is. He's top tier. He's top tier. For he's sure. probably also one of the, like, I'd say the most handsome bald men. Yeah. Um, um, let's finish off the NBA. Um, we're gonna go with the goat. The, 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 time. King the, the, his, no. <laughs> no, he, not King James. Is he not no. the greatest of all time? But he's not bald. Well, he definitely knows. He, he was, was bald, but he's proven. But he wasn't ready to accept. He's proven that he did not want to be a part of the he culture. He doesn't want to be And he proved of... that he had no interest in being a part of our community. No, he doesn't. So, he is not a bald person. He if person. he gets any more hair plugs, I'm going to request that he gets kicked <laughs> out of the NBA. I think also when LeBron did that, it proved that Michael Jordan is the greatest of all yeah, time. Yeah, that's true. So, that's who we're talking about greatest of all time, Michael Jordan. The greatest of all time, yeah. yeah. His airness. Yeah. He is known as being a bit of a piece of shit. It became personal with me. Who's to say? Who's to say? But he won six championships, yes. so. But hey, Mike, you could have done a bit more to give Scottie Pippen some more money. I mean, you were around for that time. I, was, I really wasn't. I was. Around for that time, and he was the he was the greatest. Um, no, everyone saw him only as a positive, yeah, hundred percent. And like he wouldn't even smoke cigars. Like, or no, he was criticized once for smoking cigars at a at a championship. He was very careful about how he, his image, his and, image, yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. It was a big shock to me when I found out some of these other scandals, undesirable yes. qualities and things. But so I say we go from the aspect of uh, prime Mike, where he's. Doing good and yeah, yeah. uh you let's know, go hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'd say he's top, top tier. It's top Michael tier. Jordan. Let's go with another cartoon, Elmer Fudd. Oh yes, yeah. Elmer. I like Elmer Fudd. I think he's fun, but I don't like his uh not very <laughs> successful. No, he's a bad he's hunter. He's a horrible hunter. He's a horrible. He keeps getting tripped. Uh, wascally wabbits. Yes. Uh, you know? He would be like a like an extreme, like like a really far right Republican. He strikes me as someone who would be like anti-gun control. He's like he's, he's very pro-gun. He's very like he would have voted for Trump for sure. Oh, yeah. they, he would have he stormed the Capitol. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Okay. He would be in court right now like, trying sure. to be like, I believe that Trump is still president. Uh, <laughs> it's these wascally Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we can put him Joe Rogaine. He's a Looney Tune, but he's not hes not the greatest. Who's in every movie and who is an incredible bald guy? Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. He's also a good supporter of some good bald guy hats. Yes, the Kangol yes. hat is a yes. great look. I would say Sam Jackson's top tier. He's top tier. He's Mace Windu. Um, now let's do The Rock. Oh, Dwayne The yes. Rock Johnson. Yes. Probably the, one of the, the most, he's the most successful oh, wrestler he's... who's gone, that's become an actor. But like, I'd say Dave, Dave Batiste is hot on his trail. He is, he is. He's, he's hot on his trail. Well. So is John Cena. Yes, he is. The three of them yeah, are actually, true. I would love to see a movie with all three of them. A good news story I heard about him was that when he was a kid, he was, uh, he grew up very poor and uh, was, stealing from this corner store like yep. regularly anyways steal chocolate bars and uh he went back there recently yep apologized and, and gave them a big check 
Nice. And said, and he know, said, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. He's uh, he's using his uh, his his power for good. Yeah. Which we we appreciate. So I would say The Rock is. He's top, he's, tier. he's top tier. Again, another another I think is going to be top tier. Shrek. Oh, he's definitely Shrek top is tier. top tier. He's, he put DreamWorks really on the map comparatively to Disney. Yep. While making fun of yes, Disney. Disney, they were yes. And uh, you know, get out me swamp. <laughs> and that's the thing I'd say to the rest of these bald guys: get out me swamp, get out me bald swamp. One of your favorite movies of all time, Mega Mind. So he's he's a bad guy, but he's misunderstood. He turns out to be a good guy. He is a good guy. He, it's one of Will Ferrell's, I think, funniest roles. Okay. I think ten years straight, you said the word spider. Yes, uh, yes, you were quoting yes, it like yes, it was none other. Yes, so I think we'll go Mega Mind as top tier. Let's go with Jeff Bezos. Now yes, this is right Jeff up your Bezos, alley. Yes. you love controversy. I you do, love all I this. Do. I do. He. He's one of these bald. He's one of these billionaires. Cause no one likes a billionaire. He's just a bit of a wiener. In in his defense, when it, so back, it was just books. Amazon was just books, and then eventually they brand like the leader in in online sales. So eBay now mainly eBay sells a lot of used things, collectible things. But yep. before that, eBay was the Amazon of the internet, yes. mainly new things, and you could still get used things, but mainly new. But then he flipped the script and then became, just slowly though, women's jewelry, then women's clothes. Like, so it went books, then CDs, when CDs were still movies. around. Movies. Yeah, movies, and then yeah. went, and, uh, but yeah, so um, I just want to say that he was just like a, it no. was a slow, slow steady burn. progression. Slow burn. It was a slow burn for sure. Um, and, and I do I, feel like he gets grouped into this like Elon Musk yeah, yeah. type person, right. which I don't but, think he's as bad as that. No, let's put him in the middle of the road. I think keep your wigs. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I just wanted to take a quick second and talk about today's sponsor, Babbel. Babbel is one of the top language learning apps in the world, and its intuitive lessons can help you learn languages through real life conversations. I use Babbel because it has a completely user-friendly interface with so many different languages to learn, and they make the process so easy and so approachable. You can set short-term goals or long-term goals that fit your busy schedule. You can even customize your lessons to fit why you're learning a new language. Whether you're taking a trip, trying to improve your skills as a professional, or maybe you're trying to understand one of your grandma's stories about the old country. Heck, maybe you're trying to set a New Year's goal and you want to learn French. Cause you know, you want to seem cooler at the coffee shop. You can finally start ordering a croissant instead of ordering a croissant. Well, say bonjour to Babbel because they're here to help. I was recently in Italy and I felt like an idiot because I didn't know a lick of Italian. I was so embarrassed being the uncultured American walking around like, Hi, sorry, I can't read the menu. Can I just have a cheeseburger, please? So I promised myself that would never happen again. And right now I'm in the middle of learning Spanish for my next trip. I was able to select how much time I needed to learn Spanish and how much time a week I wanted to spend learning. So next time I'm in Europe, no one's gonna laugh at me when I'm like, help me, where's the bathroom? Cause now I'm gonna say, Donde esta el baño? I love Babbel because their classes are developed by real language teachers and they're scientifically proven to help you start speaking a new language in as early as three weeks. And here's me learning some of the Spanish alphabet. E. E. O. 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 E. Let's go. Also, they use real life conversation, so you're not gonna sound like a robot speaking your new language. You'll gain practical skills that you can use in real life conversation. Gracias. Also, right now, Babbel is offering 60% off your next subscription. So make sure you visit babbel.com by clicking the link in my description and get 60% off your next Babbel subscription and start learning a new language. And make sure to check out Babbel because checking out the sponsor always helps out me and it helps out my channel. Gracias, Babbel, for sponsoring this video. And thank you 
for the nuggets. Alrighty guys, back to the video. We have a, re this is, I'd say this is a good selection of like your top bald guys. You know, let us know down in the comments uh, if we missed anybody, cause I'm sure we oh, did. I'm sure we did, 100% we did. We did, there's so many did. bald people, you know, you can just, you can always grab your your, your dad or your son yeah. and you just do this for hours. And most people go, hey, you guys gotta stop doing that. And then we go, listen, the family that balds together stays, stays together. together. If you want a lifetime supply of nuggets, make sure you like and subscribe. You Numbers like the video on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> you just call. What is the number again, Dad? Jacob's dad. Perfect. Whatever, so I, said at the begin, whatever I said at the beginning, yeah, the is number what, is going to be right yeah. there. Make sure you like the video and just sure. subscribe to my channel for a lifetime supply of nuggets. Nuggets like these two bald guys right here. So everyone, give it up for my dad. Uh, Giles Andrew Phillips Sharp, he's the best person on planet Earth, no, and uh, he's, uh, he's he's the, he's he's the, the reason I'm here. So, all right, we're gonna get out of here, and we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go shave our heads and cry yes. in a corner. That was great. Yeah, it was easier than. Okay, bye. bye. Again. That's okay. That's a good practice run. That was a good practice. Hurry! <laughs> <laughs> we did it and it didn't happen. No. But let's just do that again. And.